What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at using the accordion with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the accordion for Kivi. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in this video, we want to look at the accordion. And if you're not familiar, an accordion is just this thing where we can click on different panels and they kind of appear. We can do it vertical like this. We can do it horizontal. We could put images inside. We can put text inside. We can put anything we want inside. And it's just sort of a nice little feature if your app requires something that does something like this. So I've got two files here, accordion.kv and accordion.py. This is our basic KV starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. And you notice I've got accordion.kv set in our builder. So we're going to do most of our work in this accordion.kv KV file. And I've got our basic box layout that we always have. I've got the orientation set to vertical and size set to root.width and root.height so it expands to the entire size of our app. So to do this, we just call an accordion. And you'll notice it's A-C-C-O-R-D-I-O-N. Now, in my mind, accordion ends with an A, so like A-C-C-O-R-D-I-A-N. For some reason, I always want to spell it like that, so make sure you don't do that. Make sure it's accordion with an O at the end of it here. And now we can set the orientation. And I'm going to set this now just to vertical, up and down. You can also set it to horizontal, and we'll look at that in just a minute. Now, in order to create the different panels, we just create accordion items, and that's singular. And inside of here, we can call the title, and I'm going to call this just panel one. And then inside of here, we can do anything we want. So for instance, if I wanted a label, I could create a label. I would go uh, text and set this equal to, let's say, panel one text or whatever. I guess set the font underscore size of that to any size we want. We'll put it at 32. And really that's all there is to it. So in order to make more of these, you just sort of, you know, copy and paste each one. So two, three, and let's go four, and then just, you know, change them all accordingly. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> all right, so let's go panel two, panel two, and then panel three, panel three, and then panel four, and panel four. And since we all copied and pasted these, let me just make sure these are tabbed correctly here. So we're really kind of tabbing a lot. Python is tab sensitive, as you know. Okay, so it looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Now we can head over here and run this file. So let's go Python accordion.py. And when we do, we get this thing here and we can toggle between them. And it's just that easy. Super, super easy. Now, like I said, we can change the orientation of this guy. So we can set it to horizontal instead. So if we save this, let's run it again. And now it's set to left to right. Very, very easy and uh, pretty cool. So we can also do other things besides text in here. Like I said, we could do images if we want. Let me change this back to vertical. I kind of like that better. Now, instead of having text inside of here, instead of having the label itself, we can just, you know, call an image like we always would. And here I'll just set the source equal to images slash Aspen one dot JPEG. Now, before this video, I created a directory inside of our C Kivi new directory. You see up here at the top here, that's where this file is located. So since this file is in this Kivi new directory and this Aspen or in this images directory is in this Kivi new directory, we can use a relative path here. Otherwise you would have to do something like C forward slash Kivi new forward slash images. You know how that goes. So, okay, that's a JPEG. You could also use PNG. So if we wanted to come down here to, for instance, panel three, I've got one called aspen2.png. I don't know, no real difference there. So whatever, any images that you have, you could do like that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it one more time. And pull this guy over and boom, there's our image. Panel two text, panel three, there's our other image. And it's just that easy. So accordions are a lot of fun. 
really easy to use and um, yeah, it's just that simple. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 on membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.